Hi everyone, this is your interviewer Farah and I'm here at the Health 2.0 Conference Dubai with Ms. Urmi. You just received an award for Outstanding Leadership. Congratulations. Thank you. Could you please introduce yourself and your organization? Uh, hi, I'm Urmi Kothari and I'm the founder and coach at Kinetic Living, which is a 12-year-old training and a living method, uh, not just as a fitness brand, but also as a philosophy of combining fitness with a lot of self-awareness and helping people find their unique why behind fitness and also helping them with the physical workouts, but done in a very mindful manner. Ultimately, the idea is that they will find their enjoyment and their unique reason of why they want to become fit, which will help them be consistent effortlessly. And that's what it is, right? We all know what we should be doing, but Definitely. the idea is to go beyond that rule book and really find that fitness and wellness identity within us. So Definitely. my vision is to have everyone to find their own way and find their own version of a kinetic life and become a kinetic living being so and now I've just written a book on it so yeah that's amazing yes thank you and could you please tell us from your, uh, your uh, experience and knowledge in this uh, industry that what is uh, how what is energy coaching and how can it help people achieve fitness so energy coaching is if you see what is energy from a simplistic point of view is not just our body but how each cell vibrates and that is influenced by what we think, what we eat, how we feel. And the first uh, element through which we experience this life on this earth is our body. So how can we ignore one third of this uh, uh, aspect of ourselves? And most people are uh, looking at fitness and mental wellness and emotional wellness separately. and through kinetic living and through energy coaching, I want to integrate all three where we are not just looking at mental health, but we are looking at emotional resilience and that through workouts, right? The kind of mental fitness, the kind of uh, emotional empowerment we can feel just by showing up in the sun and moving our body, even 10 minutes a day is uh, something so empowering for whether you are living in a villa or whether you're living, you know, on the streets. Uh, uh, yeah, so I feel like uh, that energy is going to be like the next uh, social status. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, uh, that's what I want to do through energy coaching. And when we have that, we are able to find our authenticity. We are able to stand in our own body, feel good in our body, and not worry about whether it's looking, whether it's a little bit extra or whether it is a little bit less because yeah. we I feel strong, that. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. That's, that's such a nice way to look at it and explain it. So thank you for the work that thank you, you do. Thank uh, you. Now I'd like to ask you another question. Uh, what do you think is the secret to lifelong fitness according to Kinetic? So according to Kinetic Living, we have three pillars of secrets in that sense. First is your fitness, your self-awareness and your happiness. Mm -hmm. And we uphold enjoyment as much as the science behind it because uh, the enjoyment is where you get the dopamine rush and research has shown that if you're doing a workout that you don't enjoy chances are you're not gonna get that dopamine rush as much as you do something you do enjoy Definitely. and again fitness as a structured way of going to the gym or completing a certain reps or doing a certain asana has only come after the human mind came in right mm -hmm. but as a human body we were uh, scavenging for food we were running up the hill we were running behind animals we were hunting we were uh, building tents so we were always moving right. so the idea is let's break it down into the most atomic uh, size of fitness which is first movement right and i think that's where the secret sauce of has, uh, the secret sauce of having lifelong fitness mm -hmm. is is that i am associate i'm attached to movement and not to a certain uh, cool exercise that yeah. I can just do all my life or see other people do and then get an Instagram like on it. It's really about, okay, the first 10 years of my life I could jump hurdles, now the next 10 years of my life I'm going to look at what is my life phase, am I being a mother or am I uh, moving cities, am I getting divorced because yeah. all of that is going to affect their energy. But you know, it's like everyone's like, I want to go back to my weight yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. and that's uh, in a way very backward thinking like life is only moving forwards buddy so uh, always looking to find new ways to find movement a hundred percent I love that 
And I also would like to know, so you've shared with us your vision for Kinetic Living, you've shared with us uh, what you think is the secret sauce. Now, could you tell us what inspired you to build Kinetic Living? Uh, that's a great question because it's funny because for my whole life, I want to feel inspired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, what really inspired me is just one thing, is that to share the kind of experiences I've had with my body and feeling that internal sense of freedom that yeah. comes from inner power and not just like, oh, I'm better than someone else, but saying that whatever I face, right, I know I can go through that. And I think I just want to share those tools, those exercises, that energy, that uh, encouragement to other people, other women, men, that they can find that through their body. All they need is to let go of these external standards of six packs or external standards of this person can do this, but I cannot do it or I could do this, but I cannot do that anymore and move forwards. So, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing all of Thank that you. with us. And best of luck with the rest of the work that you Thank have you. for Kinetic Living. Hopefully it only grows and grows. Uh, now, can you tell us a little about your experience at the conference? Were you able to share those ideas with people and maybe get inspired by other people's ideas? So, I have... Uh this one take on networking right which uh -huh. is like oh it's just about like giving cards or and I know people are now changing that and people yeah. are interested in having authentic conversations so I honestly just did that yesterday and I think I looked up the backgrounds of people before I approached them because uh -huh. and that's the reason I was talking to them at in depth as well yeah. so I think uh, for me it's a great learning experience as well because I come uh, from an extremely qualified background in fitness and like wellness in that sense but yeah. I'm more interested now also learning about brain waves and neuroscience based concepts which I yeah. want to slowly integrate into my coaching as well so it was lovely talking to people from that field who are very qualified and established so yeah I think it's like a, a big op eye opening as well uh, very warm people um, very well organized very professionally done and not too crowded yeah um, the place is beautiful and I'm a sun lover so just <laughs> eating lunch with this beautiful view was yeah. also icing on the cake yeah enjoying so far we're so happy that you're enjoying your time here thank you now if uh, people out here would like to reach out to you uh, can you let us know what social media platforms you're on uh, yes, so I'm on social media. I'm known as Coach Dot Urmi, mm -hmm. and um, on uh, my website it's Kinetic Living Dot In, and uh, currently I'm working to integrate all these different aspects of coaching that I have like one-on-one -on -one, I have a team of coaches and we also have pre-recorded sessions and I'm also doing retreats and my vision is to build an ecosystem around it and uh, yeah so that's another uh, brand called Shala uh, which is an Indian word for school um, yeah that's my second brand name as well thank you so that's called Shala.com that's my yeah perfect Thank you so much, Ms. Ermi. It's been a pleasure and congratulations to you again. Thank you. Thank you.